Ethan! Ethan, they're coming! Less than an hour ago, we heard from the police who have identified the man thought to be the origami killer. Ethan Mars, father of the kidnapped victim Sean Mars, is on the run and should be considered armed and dangerous. A police manhunt is now underway, and they hope that they will soon be able to announce the apprehension of this dangerous lunatic. I brought some food. I didn't know what you like, so I brought some of everything. I, I hope that's okay. Why are you helping me, Madison? You know nothing about me. You could have been killed. I don't know. I guess it just seemed like the right thing to do at the time. You needed help. I helped you. You're all over the news reports, Ethan. Every cop in the country will be hunting you. They say you're the origami killer. Is it true? Are you the killer, Ethan? I... I sometimes have these blackouts. Times where I don't know what I'm doing. As if I'm... someone completely different. The only thing I remember afterwards... is the bodies. The bodies in the water. Why are you hurt, Ethan? Why were you in that apartment? I think my other self is testing me, testing my love for Sean. He wants to know if I love my son enough to save him. That means there's some part of me that knows where Sean is. But the only way to find him is to go through these trials. Why can't you tell that to the police? And tell them what? That I'm a schizophrenic who drowns his victims and has kidnapped his own son? They'd never let me go, and I have to stay free to save Sean. I have no choice. I'm his only chance. When Sean is out of danger, I'll turn myself in, but not until then.
You can't keep going like this. You're destroying yourself, Ethan. Finding Sean is the only thing that matters. There has to be another way. You don't understand. Time is running out. Sean will be dead in a few hours. I have no choice! Please, Madison. Leave. Forget everything that's happened. There is nothing more you can do for me. If you want to help me, leave. Leave me to do this on my own. Your vodka, sir. Thanks. You look preoccupied, if you don't mind my saying so. Problems with the investigation? Blake is convinced that Mars is the killer. Not you. I thought there was some evidence to that effect. That's true. But it just doesn't make sense. His psychological profile doesn't fit. Neither does the geolocalization. I can't see this father drowning eight victims before kidnapping his own kid. Mars is not the origami killer. I'd stake my life on it. Then who is? I haven't the faintest fucking idea. Maybe you should review the evidence in your possession. That's just what I was thinking of doing. Oh, one last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in you-know-what. It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. I'm trying to keep a handle on it, but... that's difficult. It gets more and more difficult. It'll end up killing you if you're not careful. That would be most unfortunate, sir.
Well, well. Looks like there's something new. The video recording from near the park on the afternoon Sean Mars disappeared. I doubt there's anything on it, but you never know. A Chevrolet model corresponding to the tire prints passed at 1602 heading for the park, when in the opposite direction at 1637, that could fit the time that Sean Mars disappeared. Could it be the killer's car? Pity we can't see the driver's face. The car was stolen. Let's see, a certain Jackson Neville was suspected of stealing it. But the charges were dropped. Not enough evidence. Jackson Neville, a.k.a. Mad Jack, involved in several cases of buying and selling stolen vehicles. Considered to be very dangerous. This guy might have provided the killer with a car. It's a pretty slim lead, but it's all I have right now. One last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in the water. It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. Shit! It's... It's coming! Tryptocaine. The tube is on the bedside table. All I need is to take some, and the pain will go away. I should resist. This is gonna kill me. I know I can resist. I just need to stay in control and, and do something until it goes away. <laughs> 